A few weeks ago, we asked you to rank the top drops from each month last year, and here are the winners. start us off, we had Euphoric Supply, Fish Scale, Absent Discoteca, and Wicked Thoughts going head-to-head -head for January's best drop. After reviewing your comments, the brand that had the most votes was Wicked Thoughts in their Cluxbusters 3 collection. Released on January 29th, this collection was showcased by Phoenix Flexen, and the message behind each item is pretty straightforward. Hate groups and racism will not be tolerated. As the year went on, this message became even more prominent, and following the death of George Floyd, these products were seen on national television at various Black Lives Matter protests around the world. By far, Cluxbusters 3 is one of the most brand-defining collections that Wicked Thoughts has ever released. February was pretty close. We had I Never Heard of You going up against Activity, House of Airs, and Joe Fresh Goods. The brand who got the most votes and who's walking away with February's best drop is Joe Fresh Goods and his collaboration with New Balance. Titled No Emotions, Our Emotions, this collaboration featured one of Joe Fresh Goods' best shoes to date. Inspired by the anatomy of the heart, the 992 has red and pink suede with burgundy mesh and it looks absolutely insane on foot. Also included in this collection was a Kawhi Leonard model with a bunch of different merch like long sleeves, graphic tees, and basketball jerseys. To celebrate this collaboration, Joe Fresh Goods even coughed himself an iced out New Balance pinky ring. March had one of the craziest lineups we've seen. In this bracket, we had Menace, Absent, Blazzy, Half Evil, and Rider Studios. After reading your comments, the best drop for March goes to Blazzy in his UV-activated coronavirus t-shirt. Featuring a map of the world, this graphic changes color in the sunlight and fills in each country that has a confirmed case of COVID-19. On the back, there's a smiley face wearing a mask, and it has an anti-cough slogan that pretty much everyone can agree with. One thing to note is the number of confirmed cases on the front of this tee, 100,000 cases and counting. I actually like the fact that the number on the front is that low. I think it kind of puts some type of timestamp on this piece because by now there has been over 90 million cases worldwide. Last year, April went crazy. FTP released their collaboration with Kadone. North Korea Skate Club covered a basketball and cheetah print. Saturn Hills Haunted House introduced cut and sewn Pantone pants. But the brand that's bringing home the best drop for April is Advisory with their tribute to Kobe Bryant. Following the death of Kobe, many brands attempted to commemorate his legacy, but none did it as clean and respectfully as Advisory. With all proceeds donated to the Mamba and Mambasita Sports Foundation, Advisory's greatness happens with a free throw, took an in-depth look at Kobe's career and uncovered the underlying importance of a free throw. From his high school state championship to his first and final point in the NBA, every single one of Kobe's career milestones happened with a free throw. Check out Advisory's YouTube video if you want to see the exact moments referenced in this graphic. In May, we try to switch it up a little. We have Basket Case Gallery's B-Logo work jacket, Descending's Infrared Air Force Ones, Shoe Uzi's Air Mag Sculpture, and Half Evil's Hand-Dyed Crewnecks. Of these four options, the brand who got the most votes and is being crowned as the best drop for May in 2020 is Basket Case Gallery. At first, they weren't even going to release this. It was one of their scrapped ideas. They thought that it was too close to the Sicko logo and that maybe the NHL would get mad at them, but the demand for this product eventually led to its inclusion in their We Can Still Dance collection. This logo quickly became a fan favorite and has since been included on numerous products such as shoes, hats, and these hoodies. For June, we wanted to focus on products that were centered around Black Lives Matter. On top of Heavens, Holiday, and Worldwide Youth, we have Palisade taking home the best drop for June of 2020. Mike Slipped got it right. This tee is one of the most iconic things I have ever seen. After Virgil was ridiculed for only donating $50 towards bail funds to help Black Lives Matter protesters, Palisade tossed his face on a $50 bill and forever marked this moment in history. When asked about it, Virgil clarified that he was just matching a friend's $50 donation and that he actually donated over $20,000 to bail funds, but the internet did not let him live it down. With Palisade's tea backed by countless memes, Virgil Abloh's $50 donation is something that I'll never forget. For July's drop of the month, I Never Heard of You, Absurd, and Holiday all fell victim to Fugazi's white and gray, one in the chamber, Air Jordan 1s. This all new colorway was the perfect follow up to his red and white pair and helped Fugazi remain as one of the leading forces in the custom bootleg industry. If you miss these, good luck finding anything even close to retail. People on Grailed had these prices high as $700. 
For August, it was a battle between Emotional Rex Brain Beanie, Anthony Alvarado Customs, Brigade's Spring Summer 20 Collection, and Kerwin Frost Cactus Plant Flea Market Telethon merch. Each of these products had a significant impact on the culture, but the brand that was voted as having the best drop of August was Brigade with their Fear City Work Jacket. Inspired by their Fear City t-shirt from 2017, the Fear City Work Jacket is a direct reflection as to how far this brand has come. In just three years, Brigade transformed that concept from a graphic tee into one of the most high quality all over print work jackets to date. My favorite part about this whole thing is that Brigade's Fear City graphic was actually inspired by a survival guide campaign that the NYPD used to keep tourists out of New York in the 70s. In September, the four finalists that we had on our list were House of Airs, Warren Lotus, Dead by 5am, and Eternal. After reviewing your comments, the item that was voted as the best drop in September was the Tony Montana airbrushed t-shirt from Eternal. As you can see in this video, the details are absolutely insane. I actually really like how they finesse the branding. By including Eternal in the gun smoke, they were able to add their brand name without having it distract from the overall design. This collection offered references to Death Note, JoJo's Bazaar, and more. October was a huge month for collaborations. We had Chinatown Market and Absent, Heavens and Favorite Mistake, Phase with Half Evil. I mean, just an all around powerhouse of collabs. But the brand that topped them all and won October's best drop of the year was Lasher Felix. Their short sleeve ski knit sweater is by far one of the most innovative things I've seen. Not really sure how you pull it off. I'd probably wear an undershirt, but either way, I think it was a pretty unique use of ski mask. On top of this colorway, they also released a few more, which are seen right here. When you're going up against brands like Tsukami, Kodone, and High Rollers, you have to come correct. And that's exactly what this brand did. The votes for November's best drop of the year go to Crash and Vital Studios. This collaboration was actually pretty sweet. I mean, check out this lineup. Pretty much everything you see here is heavyweight, cut and sewn, single stitched, and enzyme washed. Not one product was a miss. On top of that, they went insane on the promotional items. They weren't for sale, but this collection included a book that showcased each piece as well as an engraved sword that took over 20 hours to forge. Closing out the year, we have Wicked Thoughts, Fish Scale, Isolation, and Brigade. Although each brand went crazy, the winner for the best drop of December was Isolation and their War as Hell puffer jacket. Like most of their products, this puffer jacket features imagery that shows the deadly, harsh realities of war. Having served in the military and been to war, the owner of this brand uses clothing as a way to tell his story. Along with their War as Hell puffer, this collection included a mix of hoodies, graphic tees, pants, accessories, and more. To everyone who took part in the first ever Grounded Awards, thank you guys for voting. We're definitely running it back at the end of this year. For now, I'm out. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.